Welcome. I'm Grandmother Johnette, and this is August and our August Consciousness Update. And uh, this is the Lion's Gate, the Sirius Lion's Gate Vortex, and the eight, time of the 8-8. Eight, eight. But first of all, people have asked, why am I a grandmother? So I wanted to answer that because I've never let you know. Um, I've always been interested in, in Native heritage and have often had in my guide, my first guide was White Eagle, and have often had visions of White Buffalo Calf Woman. And during COVID, a Native woman who had studied for 20 or 30 years with a grandmother and was herself a grandmother, called me and said she'd been watching me for years and had been reading my books. And she invited me to New Hampshire to be part of her medicine wheel and to be initiated, actually, as a grandmother in the Native tradition. So uh, because she had been watching me, I didn't need 10, 20, or 30 years of working with her in order to learn. So that's why I call myself a grandmother. It's a wonderful honor and a privilege, and it's not something that is easy to come by. So I'm Grandmother Johnette, and I'm in my home in Denver. So the topic today is the heat is on, dog days of summer. And how did we get the name Dog Days of Summer? It's because right now, the Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, and probably a star that many of us feel we're from, um, is the closest to Earth, most visible, and in the sign of Leo. So it, that's why we call it the Lion's Gate. But Sirius has always been important. The rising of Sirius in this late July, early August time frame. It's been it's celebrated even now by the Incas, the Mayans, uh, the Mesopotamians, the Egyptians. Sirius was very important because it heralded the flooding of the Nile. So Sirius has been a very important star in our history. And now that it's in the the sign of Leo. Leo is the lion, it's power, it's manifestation. This time now in this, what we've come to call the 8-8 portal, is a time of acceleration, a time when the path is open to our star, our destiny, our potentiality. So it's a time of really receiving acceleration, receiving the heat, and and being open to change. I think that's probably the most important part. So this whole Lion's Gate thing uh, started because it's with the Gregorian calendar that started in 1582 with Pope Gregory. The Gregorian calendar has this time August 8th, which will be later this week. A, so we call it the 8-8 Lion's Gate. But again, this whole time was celebrated way before Pope Gregory gave us this calendar. What's interesting about this year, the 888 Lions Gate is actually 888 because 2024 is also an eight year. Um, what we're going to do for this at the end of, of my little presentation, we're going to do a brain exercise that has to be done at the end because your brain's going to be different using the infinity symbol, the eight, 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 eight. So um, after I talk, we'll end with that. And I usually don't do any activations or exercises, but this is really an important time. During this portal, it's as if everything's closer and there's more light codes, there's higher frequencies, there's more change happening. And why I say the heat is on. Yes, it's August in the Northern Hemisphere. Yes, it's hot. But there's such an acceleration of consciousness, an acceleration of light, an acceleration of molecules in our world. So with this acceleration, there's a clash between comfort, how it's always been, and destiny. Um, and often our destiny 
maybe always our destiny is unknown. So we're at this nexus point where we're comfortable in what we know, but yet, especially now, we're being pulled toward an unknown destiny. And the heat is on, the acceleration. When you have heat, there's three things that can happen. One, you can have intense heat, and that would be fire. So fire right now is the biggest opportunity for transformation. So the question to ask yourself is, what do I want to purge? What do I want to throw into the fire? What do I want to totally be done with and transformed into something else? So the first question during this time is, what do I want to burn away? in the world and mostly in yourself and in how you've held yourself. So once you've asked that question, the, the second aspect of the heat is melting. It's not as intense as burning um, because melting at least keeps the substance of the old, but it reforms it. So you might imagine a candle melting. So the candle wax can be formed into anything but it depends what mold you choose. So the next questions to ask is, all right, we don't want the intensity of burning away, but a lot of things we want to change their form. So what molds are you putting in place? What forms are you pouring your wax into that you want to hang on to for the next five, 10, 20 years? So be conscious of the melting of the old and your decision, how it's going to look, what the new form is for your life, for our world. So in the, in the third part of the heat is on after burning and melting is hardening. Like, like a clay pot is put in the heat to harden it. So, what do we want to harden? What do we, what forms do we want to be with us, to maintain? So again, be asking the question in this time of accelerating transformation. What do I want to purge, get rid of? What do I want to keep, but perhaps in a new form, melt? And what do I want to harden? What do I want the forms to be? as I move forward. And we're asking that at a cultural and societal level, not just for yourself. So it's important now, as always, to be really conscious about your actions, your decisions, what you're thinking about, what you're watching on YouTube. Be intentional, be conscious. And the big question is comfort, or destiny and we can have both but perhaps your destiny is calling you out of that comfortable armchair into something that's truly unknown and truly transformational so what I'm seeing in consciousness especially as I work with my guide mark um, Mondays in our mark channel classes is that for years and years and years, we've been sending our consciousness up to the higher realms of spirit, to the light, and opening ourselves to spirit, to light, to yeah, the, the higher realms of mastery. But still, when we did that, it's like we were here and we were just opening to these spaces. But what I've seen, especially in the last maybe 12 months, maybe only 10 months, is now that energy, that high consciousness, that spirit is moving more into our bodies. So first it, we went up and now that those spaces are coming down into us. And we're called to integrate a higher level of consciousness, spirit, acceleration, heat in our bodies that we could never hold before, that our earth was not prepared to hold before. What that does 
is create what you see when you look online or read newspapers, is all the changes, the geopolitical changes, the, the weather changes, the earth changes, the, uh, the wars, the uncertainty, all of that is acceleration. And it's all acceleration we ask for because we've all been going up and then bringing, integrating those higher level of consciousness here, those higher energies. So now they're stirring up everything and disrupting our comfort, but accelerating our destiny. So we're now much more of a channel, a two-way channel between spirit and matter. We, we live here with our spirit. We can go even higher, but this is where the change is happening. And we're seeing it and you haven't made a mistake by being here. This is the time we've been waiting for. You are who we've been waiting for. It's a massive transformation. And what Mark has been working with are the energies of grace. And again, grace used to be something up there in the heavens that maybe we could have on our first communion or you know, in a holy moment. But grace is a birthright. It's a state of consciousness that transforms matter. And we are changing our matter to hold the flows of grace. In fact, right now, my guide Mark, his uh, teachings for the last eight months have been grace. And just to let you know, uh, we will be starting a new Mark class in two weeks. I think it's um, let me look, uh, August 26th on Monday, uh, in its part three of our grace series, but you can join anytime because we've built the channels open and it's called opening the flows of grace. And I'm feeling this. And when we do our brain exercise at the end of this, I think you're really going to feel that we're graceful and we've always been graceful but we're bigger now. So there's more of us to be filled with grace. The other announcements other than the new Mark class and Mark classes continue, they've continued for 34 years. Um, so you can hop in anytime. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to be starting a new trilogy of activations. And every year I do three power places, power times to do initiations or activations. Well, this one is going to be based on the lunar, uh, on lunar portals, important lunar portals, and it's called the Trilogy of Healing, Deep Multi-Layered Healing. It's going to start on August, let me look, August 19th, I think. Uh, Yes, Monday, August 19th will be our um, first trilogy. And how I came up with this lunar portal is I was at a gathering of elders uh, in Wyoming, native elders, and I was asking them about their beliefs of Sirius because I knew this time was coming up. And they said, yes, we, we are connected to Sirius. We're, we're connected also to the Pleiades. And they said, but our most important day is an 8-8. It is the first full moon in August. So our trilogy of healing will start on the first full moon of August, which happens to be Monday in a couple of weeks. So it's not quite up on our website yet. And it's we call it a trilogy because over the next few months, we do these activations of deep healing on important lunar portals this time. So kind of put in your mind to check our website in a couple of days to be part of that trilogy. And the other thing I want to announce is that we I always channel monthly meditations and our new monthly meditation is available well tomorrow for the, the you uh, in the in Europe but today for you in the United States and its title it was an amazing meditation that I channeled and it's called Your Soul's Library. And it's a journey to the Akashic Records. 
And what was interesting is we also worked with the blank pages of your Akashic Records, that which has not been created yet. So those um, meditations, it's $25. It's a subscription. You get a new powerful meditation every month. So those are my announcements. Again, this is a time of higher consciousness. The heat is on, lots of acceleration, but it's what we chose to be here for. So let's look at the 888 of today, the infinity symbol. And so it's 888 or it's this way. Either way, it's the infinity symbol. And this is a brain expansion and balancing exercise that I'm going to leave you with so you can stay in this state as long as you need to. I was shown it by my guides many years ago when I had, I blew my brain out. I had been doing, I was in Europe teaching and doing massive initiations with people. And I just put too much energy in my vessel. And like I had put my finger in a electric socket and I couldn't get it out. And you know, in the cartoons, when your hair goes like this, my brain went like that. And I was scared that I would be mentally damaged forever. I'm laying in bed and I can feel that my brain is totally broken apart, really scared. And I asked my guides, what can I do? And they showed me, just simply lay here as long as you need and imagine centered in your pineal gland, an infinity symbol and just keep drawing it. Don't move your eyes necessarily, but your consciousness moves and just keep drawing this infinity symbol again and again and again. It not only rectifies huge brain damage or times when you've grown way too quickly, it harmonizes you to the higher patterns of your brain and allows more of your brain capacity, your higher consciousness, higher consciousness capacity in. So I'm just going to do this and you stay with me as long as you want. And uh, when I end, please continue. It doesn't matter. Start in the center. It doesn't matter which ways, which, and just with your eyes closed, follow the infinity symbol in this time of the 888 Lionsgate. And dear ones, don't notice, don't mind if sometimes the movement isn't fluid, that it slows down or it's choppy. Just follow it how it is rather than making it be your speed or your smoothness. quiets your mind. It's a great exercise when you can't get your brain to shut down.
It integrates left and right brain. It opens your pineal gland, which is our connection to the higher dimensions. The infinity symbols can get as big as they need to be as you trace them with your consciousness. This exercise opens you to infinity, lifts you to a higher level of your destiny, and you get to keep comfort, keep comfort too, as you can feel how comfortable this becomes and how comforting this is to simply trace these eights, this infinity symbol. Left brain, right brain. So thank you, dear ones, for being part of this consciousness update, part of this world, which we are updating consciousness. Please share this if it's helpful to you. And maybe we'll see you at the trilogy or the new Mark Grace class. Or maybe you'll do the monthly meditation and visit your Akashic records. Thank you. Until next month, blessings.